This is the Euclid's Algorithm and Euclid's Extended Algorithm Calculator for MassCelebrity.com. There's a few ways you can get there. If you start typing Euclid, you can choose Euclid's Algorithm or Euclid's Extended Algorithm, and that will route you directly to the calculator where you can choose your numbers. Or you can run your problem directly out of the search engine. So you can say something like Euclid's Algorithm for 14 and 90, and you could also run the Extended Algorithm as well. So the thing about this shortcut is you don't have to be perfect on spelling. As long as you get Euclid and some decent attempt at the word algorithm, you'll be fine. The calculator will recognize what you're asking for. So when you're ready, go ahead and press the calculator or return key. So as you can see, we ran our problem directly on the search engine, so it pressed this button here. If we just went to the calculator, you wouldn't have seen any of this. You enter your numbers and then press the button. So, because we ran out of the search engine, it ran the problem for us. We're going to do Euclid's algorithm first, then we'll move to this button next. So, the way it works is you start with, uh, you're running quotients on each line, and you get a remainder. And you're going to keep repeating these steps until you get a remainder of zero. So, it took us three steps to get the greatest common factor 90 and 14, and that's two because... This was the final remainder that was needed to run this quotient to get a remainder of 0. So therefore, the greatest common factor of 90 and 14 is 2. So now let's run Euclid's extended algorithm with the same numbers. Go ahead and press this button. So we're trying to find, in Euclid's extended algorithm, we're trying to find an x and y in this equation that satisfies ax plus by equals d. So we start off, we set a to 1, b to 0, and then a to 0, b to 1. And d is our 90 in these steps here. d is 14, d is 90. So we take the quotient, and now we're going to work backwards. So 90 divided by 14, it, it goes in there six times, and we knock off the decimal. So then we start doing these steps here repeating each line and we want to get to a point where d equals 0 and when it does we're done. So in this case a equals 13 and b equals negative 2 which will satisfy this ax plus by equals d equation. So that's pretty much it. Now if you run out of problems in your textbook you can use the generate practice problem button feature and what that's going to do is generate two random numbers for you and you can press it again it generates two more random numbers for you and when you're ready you choose the button of the calculation you want to run for the for the practice problem that was generated so we'll do 171 and 18 and so we run the Euclid's algorithm for 171 and 18 and we get an answer of 9 so that's pretty much it if you do have any questions or enhancement suggestions please use the contact us link thanks for watching